Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a full face of products I never use. I think Shawnee Grimmond was kind of the person who I feel like created this. She's done like three or four of these. She was the first person that I ever saw do this. A lot of people have done them now and I got real creative with my makeup and I'm so excited that I actually use a lot of color. I just haven't been motivated recently and I haven't been creative. I did do a similar video to this right when I started my channel and I actually thought of it. Full face of neglected products which is kind of the same thing. I don't know if I'm going to link it but y'all can go find it if you really want to see it. There's maybe like one or two products in this video that were in that video because they're still neglected. I'm so glad that I went out of my comfort zone. I have blue, purple, pink, orange, yellow, and then I'm wearing like a purple lipstick. When does this happen? I really hope y'all enjoy the video and let's just get started. Okay, that was my first time talking. I'm gonna start with my eyes. The concealers that I really never touch anymore. The Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I haven't used this in a while, I feel like. And also, the e.l.f. Maximum Coverage Concealer. You've probably seen these on my channel before, but that's because I pretty much rotate my concealers really consistently. I'm actually gonna use a mixture. Then I'm also going to be using my Real Technique Sponge because I've been not using this lately. I haven't used this in a while. I'm just gonna set it with this cream shade from the Essence All About Roses eyeshadow palette. So I actually don't know what I'm doing. I just know that I want to use this NYX Ultimate Brights palette because I literally have never used this besides my pink makeup look. I kind of just want to do more of like the purpley pinks and oranges and maybe some yellows. And then I really want to use the Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in Celebrity. That's the shadow. The first shade I'm gonna go in with this shade from the Roses palette. Honestly, I haven't been using any of my eyeshadows since I got the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is really sad. I need to rotate my eyeshadows because I just got those wet and wild ones. My ColourPop shadows that I used to always use. I feel like I get a palette and then I use it for a long time until I get a new one which shouldn't happen. Now I'm gonna go in with this lavender shade. I'm not tapping my brushes off at all with these NYX shadows because I never saw that they were that pigmented. I've had this palette for a while, like probably since October. I don't know what I'm doing. This purple and this one I will tap off because I don't want too much at first. And I'm doing all this so far in a wet and wild crease brush. I'm gonna go with that real bright pink and barely tap it off and then I'm just gonna go in very lightly in the center. I don't know so I was thinking of doing like the silver here, but maybe not. I might do it in the center. I literally haven't done a makeup look, I feel like, in forever. The last one I did was a uh, chit chat, get ready with me, and that wasn't even a makeup look. I just haven't been inspired, and I just don't know what to do. It's really hard for me to make videos when I don't know what to make. Now that it's summer, I have plenty of time right now to be making videos, but in like a week or two, I'm about to get really busy, and I won't have time to make videos, so I need to get like videos pre-filmed for the summer. I'm actually just going to go in that pink shade a little more. I think I just want this to be more concentrated on the center. I think what I'm gonna do, because I really just want to chat with y'all. After this, I'm gonna do a chit chat, get unready with me. So now I'm gonna mix this purple and this. I'm not even cleaning off the brush. I want like a little bit of pink in there still. That's why I'm mixing it. I'm gonna go in with this on the more outer part and inner part. And I am just gonna go ahead and take it and blend just so there's no harsh lines. We're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Detail Crease Brush on that bright pink again. I feel like that got it real well. Now I'm gonna go with that deeper purple again. I could do blue on the inner and outer corner. That would just like, I don't know. I just wanna go in with a bunch of colors. Also, just leave video recommendations down below for any videos for like fun sit down videos, videos with friends maybe, anything. I'm gonna go with this cool blue. I don't know what to do. I'm not motivated. I don't know if I'm gonna blend this in the crease or just keep it right there. I'm not sure. I've never been like creative like this, so I'm really excited. I'm just gonna keep building it up with my finger. I'm actually gonna take a little bit and just kind of meet them. So it's not gonna be like a too harsh of a line right there. Wow, I haven't been this excited to do my makeup in a long time. I just haven't been creative at all. Now I'm gonna go back in with that crease brush back on that pink. Tap it off because I don't want it to be too intense and go right above that blue. I'm gonna go in a little bit with this purple from the Mons palette. That purple isn't really working. That really dark purple, it's not really doing anything. And this might be a little too dark. It's not really that colorful. We're gonna build up the blue again. These are just really powdery. If you blend, you're gonna have to build. I'm gonna go back in with that bright pink on this pointed brush and just blend everything. We'll probably build up 
after I do a shimmering color as well. We're just gonna go ahead and clean this up and see what it looks like. I don't think I wanna do concealer. I just wanna go straight in with me. I went ahead and did one eye so that I could see how to do it. This is the e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in Celebration. You have to dig out a quite a bit. We're gonna take it on the lid. We'll be pretty sheer at first. Then you're just gonna dab it everywhere and it will get places you don't want it to be. But it will come off pretty easily as well. Now what I'm gonna do is take the detail crease brush and just gently do this and it will flick all of the glitter off the crease. Also I'm gonna go in with the blue shadow and just flick inwards and it will flick that shimmer. Then I'm just gonna take some taps of that shimmer and then just kind of pat so then there's not like a harsh line. This one kind of got higher and this one got higher as well. I have something in mind. I think I'm going to do like an orange wing up here or something. Whatever, we're just going to prime. The primer that I literally never use. That's not one of my pore filling primers. I just didn't want to use those because I actually haven't been liking those recently. Steel One Step. Y'all probably never seen me use this. I got this so long ago. I checked for an expiration date and there's nothing on there. But it's obviously probably expired. I got this because of Shan XO. She like loves this stuff. It doesn't do anything for me. I'm gonna use this Daily Studio Wonder Cover Corrector in Peach. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the inner corner. I actually just use this quite a bit. And then for concealer, as I said, I'll probably use the Sephora one first and then go in with Elf one. And I'm not using foundation. I was going to, but then I was like, I just haven't been enjoying using foundation recently. I just bring a concealer out to here. As long as I blend it onto my cheeks, then it looks fine. Set it with the NYC Smooth Skin Powder. I don't even know if this exists anymore. I think NYC was just continuing. That's why I stopped using it. This is like what I started with. This is going to be a little tight. This is like super drying. You can see like all my creases, so we're going to have to blow out this. I really hope this angle of this eyeshadow will be helped. It's looking pretty rough right now. For bronzer and blush, oh, Fiji Matte Duo. I literally haven't used this in so long and I don't know why. And I'll contour with this as well. We're gonna take this on the neck because I feel like my neck is looking real pale. We're just gonna take it like not contour but you know we're just gonna go a little more because yeah. That's good. Actually, I'm going to use this brush with a matte one. The highlight that I'm going to be using, both of them are cream. That's great. I'm going to use the ColourPop highlighter in Lunch Money. Not that it's bad over powers. It's pretty, but it's just not too intense. Or is it even the base? This is the highlighter. I haven't used it on my face in so long. I don't think this is what I used in my whole face of old favorites. I probably did use this. This is the Make Revolution Shimmer Brick and Radiant. I'm going to take the first two shades, try and get that little bit of that shade, and then try and lightly hold my brush. Real glowy. I'm also going to take that and the brow bone. I feel like my face looks really textured right now. I think my brows look so good. When I exfoliated before this, the setting spray I'm going to use L'Oreal and Valpo Pro Spray and Set Makeup Extender Setting Spray. We're going to do the lower lash line, yellow and orange. I'm going to go in with this pink so it's a little softer. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Detail Crease Brush. I'm going to go in with the more orangey yellow and a little smidge of that other yellow and tap it off so you're not getting a bunch of powder in your eye. Then I'm going to do a tap of orange. This is like super light now. We're going to build it up. This is the AOA Studio E139, which I said that I like for my inner corner highlight. The two yellows on that. I'm just going to mix them again. Okay, I'm going to bring it out so that there's some yellow there. Now what we're going to do is take this liner brush. It's actually an eyebrow brush, like super precise. I'm going to go in with this orange. I'm actually going to go with the tap of this. My brush is actually kind of a little bit wet. I'm just going to line. I'm going to do it where it will connect to the lower lash line. I'm actually going to take that orange on the inner corner as well. What I'm going to do for the inner corner is put this yellow down as like a base and then go over it with this more yellowy golden shade. I'm going to take some water put that on the inner corner and I'm going to put the yellow. Since there's orange on the inner corner, I'm going to take that same orange yellowy shade and just kind of blend these two together. I'm just going to add a little bit of that light gold. Shade and kind of just use it as a topper to make this yellow shimmery 
This is the Essence Volumes Timeless Lash Extension Mascara. I have used this like more recently, but I have like set it aside and just been using my Lash Sensational. I do have other mascaras. They're just all like so old and I should probably just throw all them away. I'm just gonna use this because I don't want to get an eye infection. I'm not gonna do full season, just not feeling it. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my bottom one in Nick retractable eyeliner and it's the white one i was actually going to put like eyeshadow over this but i kind of really like how this looks with this really colorful look i'm really feeling it. my face is so dry right now i'm gonna try and do my brows with this shade sorry my lowest is like all gross now there are like some brow products i don't use like brow gel and stuff but i don't really feel like using them now i need a lip color so i have these doo doo girl lipsticks from Shop Miss A. And they're like a bright pink and then like a purple. I actually really like the formula of these. I just never use them. These used to be my favorite lip colors of all time. And you'll probably actually never seen these on my channel before. These are the Maybelline Color Blur lipsticks. Many of y'all remember these. I could do just like a regular pink. I also have this Jordan Lip Shine. I used to love this thing. I don't even know what this shade is honey love maybe i think i'm actually gonna do this doo doo girl lipstick number four because it's really pink uh where should i do the purple let's mix them this just made me get out of my comfort zone i feel like and i just need to do more looks with this palette be more creative like this i love this look it's like so creative i really hope y'all enjoyed this video me going out of my comfort zone and also using products that i've really never used you've probably not seen most of these products on my channel before if you did i would love it if you subscribed down below and if you liked this video then you would probably like all my other videos please leave video recommendations down below i'm struggling thank you so much for watching bye